What's up everybody? My name is Daniel Strange DDA. I'm a filmmaker and creator and a YouTuber among things. But as I'm leaving from Toronto to Australia in less than two weeks, I've been getting a lot of questions about my camera gear. So here I am today to explain all my camera gear. All I need is a camera and a lens. So before we get into all this video stuff, all the links will be provided in the description box. So if you want any of my stuff here, you can just buy it or uh, take a look at it in the description box on Amazon. All right, first thing on the list is the DLSR camera. This is a Canon T5i. It's an 18 megapixel camera. It also does full HD video, 1080 at 30 frames. If you want to do slow-mo, it also does 720 at 60. The great thing about this camera, you can vlog with it as it does have this flip out screen and it's also decent in low light. For this camera, my everyday lens that I'll use is the kit lens it came with. This is the 18 millimeter to 55 millimeter. It's decent and it's pretty good for wide angles, but you can also zoom it in and get some macro shots. For this camera, I'll also use my Rode mic. This is the Rode mic right here. Superior quality for microphones. And obviously you can tell the video is not up to par right now as we're using the iPhone 6. So right after this clip, you'll see the increase in quality. As I was talking about my Rode Mic Go, there is also this, my dead cat. This goes on the microphone to better improve sound quality during windy situations. Audio is also a very important aspect of filmmaking. Aside from my kit lens, I also have this Canon 50 millimeter lens at a 1.8 f-stop. This allows a lot of light to come in through the lens and you can really achieve those blurry backgrounds that everybody wants. This is also very good for achieving fine details in video and photo. One thing that I believe is very important in filmmaking is to achieve different perspectives. That's why we have here this Phantom 3 drone. This really allows you to have a camera and bring it hundreds of meters in the air to achieve breathtaking images and videos. Next camera on the list right here is the SJ Cam 4000. It's an action cam, or you know, most people have GoPros. Pretty much I wanted this camera because it can go underwater. And it also is very good for, you know, action type of shots where I don't want to bring my DLSR. Um, on here, right here, I have a, a little um, Gorillapod tripod. This is magnetic, so if you see me in the gym, I just literally stick it on to all the equipment and um, I can, I'm able to shoot video from anywhere pretty much. So all these cameras and all the video is pretty much useless unless you have you know a good computer and software to edit it on. So I here have a MacBook Pro. It's a 13 inch. Um, it has Retina display. I use Final Cut Pro as my editor, and I'm really able to you know manipulate the video and you know do certain things that you couldn't on a regular software. And this baby has enough power that I can just you know edit edit for hours and still you know, be able to do other things on my computer as well. So as I have all these cameras here, a lot of the footage can't fit on my MacBook Pro. So I actually got a hard drive here. It's one terabyte. And just this allows me to keep all my videos and my photos safe while I'm traveling. So important, this is for the GoPro, the action cam. This is also for it. This is a, um, a waterproofing housing. And this really allows the, um, the action cam to float in the water. So I don't lose it, you know, while, while I'm hanging 10, while I'm surfing in the waves in Australia, right? Another thing that is perfect for any lens is to have an ND filter, especially for the 50 millimeter lens, as it allows a lot of light in. If you're outside in the day and you crank down the f-stop to the 1.8 in which it has, 
um, it's gonna be very bright and overexposed. So this filter here, it really allows you to, you know, take down the lighting and, and still allows you to get that nice blurry backgrounds even on a sunny day. This right here is a lens shade for the 50 millimeter. This also decreases the light of coming across the lens and it also removes lens flare on the footage of your video. Who edits, you know, from their computer only? So I have these headphones, headphones on, you know, grinding away while I edit. thing on the list here is an SD, a micro SD adapter. This really allows you to, you know, get the footage from the drone and the action cam here and bring it on your computer without using the cords that it comes with. Just pretty convenient thing. Another thing that I forgot, one thing I forgot is stable video. So right now, obviously, I am using my tripod to hold the camera here. Um, this is pretty much a basic tripod. Um, I also have this newer uh, steady cam. So pretty much, this is a glide cam. This really allows you to walk and obtain those really steady shots. In the past, I've used my drone as it has a three axis gimbal to really get me those you know, crisp, smooth shots of people walking. But this does the same thing, has the same effect. So pretty much, yeah, you put your camera on here, you can walk around with it, and this is perfect for any filmmaker. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe because I am leaving to Australia and I am bringing all this camera gear with me. So, you know, give this video a thumbs up as well. It wouldn't hurt and it would really make my day. This is Daniel Strange DDA from Strange Fitness, where strange <sighs> never felt so normal. Where strange never felt so normal.